Okay, so we're now looking at something that looks so much better than where we were at before. And I actually, um, I don't really have a life, so I spend my free time writing fun captions for each of these images. So I'm going to go take them, um, and I will paste them in the Slack for you guys. But you can take a look at them in a second. I'm just going to copy paste them into my HTML section right here for the actress hamster. Paste. I'm going to go grab one for the bat owl. You like that? Anyone, anyone down with puns? No? You're not feeling me? I'm a nerd? Okay, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Let's replace this guy. You can look at the um, at the little things about the crest, white strips, shark. I don't know if they TM that, if I'm allowed to even put that on here, but doing it anyway. Feeling like a rebel. Feels so nice. Let's paste it in. And when I refresh this, let's see how it looks now. Okay, on a small screen, these captions look long. On a big screen, these captions look all right. Check me out, though. Not half bad. This is okay. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is now that we have our cards in place, we have our captions in place, we're going to have to start to position this div right here, overlapping the header a little bit, just like it does here. We're going to have to add a logo, a quick fixed navigation, and make sure that we have some box shadow around each of the divs. And that'll be about it, guys. We are super close to having a fully functional, gorgeous looking website. So first things first, to take care of the logo and the header, I'm going to go into my style.css file to my header right here. And I'm going to give it a little bit of padding left and a little bit of padding top because I want to push the header away from the, uh, the top and the left. Padding left of 2% and a padding top of 2%. Okay. I'm also going to give the header a minimum height, min height, of 150 pixels. So that, that's going to be the smallest it's going to be. Now, again, that looks a little funky here. On the bigger screen, again, it looks a little funky. But remember that we're going to position this div overlapping the header in a second. And that's going to look like this. And that looks a lot nicer. The next thing we need to do is we need to grab a logo. So, of course, sticking with the protocol we have around images, go to Google and type in hamster, hamster logo. And, yeah, you'll see some incredible ones. Go to images. Let's go to tools, usage rights, labeled for reuse. And let's find the hamster logo that I have. Ah, there it is. I actually don't even know if this is a hamster, to be honest. I think it's probably a bear. But we're going to use it anyway because it's from the Wikimedia Commons. So click it. Click view image. It's called Twimoji, which, again, I don't know what that means or what it is. But we're going to use it because it looks cool. We're going to copy this guy right here. And we're going to go into our index.html, and right before our h1 in our header, we're going to put an image with that source. Just like this. Okay? And then paste it in, and bam. Save it. Refresh. Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. What do you think? Is that maybe a little bit too big? Too big. Okay. So let's give this image an ID equals logo okay now once I've given this image the attribute of ID equals logo I can go into my style.css and I can create actually I'm gonna do it right below the h1 I can create hashtag logo and I can give this some specific styles let's make it exactly a height of 45 pixels and a width of 45 pixels doing that and refreshing there's our logo much better size it's starting to look all right but what is our problem here what do we see as the problem they're not in a line with each other why do you think that is they will remember 
It has to do with their display property. Exactly, Gerald Green. Right now, our H1 automatically displays block. Right here, all H1s automatically display block, which means they take up their entire row by themselves. So what can we do to the H1 here? What can we display it? Inline. Let's see. Oh, look at that. But I have one more problem here. What's my problem? It's still a little off. You notice that? Let me teach you a cool little trick that can fix this problem. So for the logo, I'm going to give it a margin bottom. But instead, of, and now if you give it a margin bottom, say like five pixels, it'll push it up, right? Because we're giving it a little bit of space on the bottom. But what if I do something crazy here and I give it a margin bottom of negative five pixels? Look what just happened. Negative margin? What the heck is that? So you can use negative margins to change the positioning of your elements by giving them, I can give it negative 15 pixels or negative 55 and it'll move it down. 45, 35, 25, 15. Let's go with five for now and let's make my H1 50 pixels. And that right there, don't those look pretty much aligned? Yeah. Because the logo is 45 pixels tall, I'm pu pulling it down an extra 5 pixels. So it's taking up almost exactly the 50 pixels of height that my H1 takes up. This is looking much better. And now we're ready to position our div to overlap our header here. And then and create our navigation and our box shadow. And you know what? After that, we're going to call it. You've done great work so far. I'm going to wrap it up for now. I'll paste all this into Slack. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them immediately.